In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the overview of bank and financial institution modeling and then we are going to learn the basics of how these companies differ from the normal companies that we see. Okay, and then we are actually going to do the modeling and the valuation of bank. We are going to learn this with respect to JP Morgan. So we are going to do the modeling and valuation with respect to JP Morgan in the last part of our course. Okay, so basically with all the financial crisis that took place, banks and financial institution has become a hot topic. Okay, a lot of people they have developing they have been developing the interest uh, in this institution mainly because of the M&A activities that is mergers and acquisitions that have been taking place or as I mentioned due to the financial crisis that uh, took place and all the chaos that it created okay so there is such a attention devoted to banks and financial institution lately and uh, let me just tell you that if you take into account different sectors and different companies like oil and gas sector or the, or the retail sector, consumer sector or even the real estate sector, all these companies will differ from each other with respect to the accounting or the financial statement or making the projection, whatever it is. But uh, let me just tell you with respect to all these companies, banks are the most different companies from other companies okay so just keep this in mind that with respect to all companies banks are the most different that you will see so let us just first start with understanding understanding what is a financial institution so you must have heard this term a lot of times but hardly we can define it properly and uh, let us see what are the different categories under financial institutions first we have the commercial bank which is the most common of the financial institution that we see then we have the insurance firms investment banks wealth management and investment firms so let us start with understanding each of this financial institution individually so first starting with the commercial bank so how does the commercial bank work or what is the business model of a commercial bank so this is a bank so what the bank will do is it will take deposit from the consumers so these people that you see at the left hand uh, corner are the consumers they will deposit their money in the bank so this money goes to the bank and bank will utilize this money okay so this money will be taken up by the bank and it will be given as loans okay so bank will give out loans to other entities who are in need of this loan so it may be any individual or business or consumers or people who are in need of automobile loans so whatever or whoever it is the money will be lended to all the required customers okay so this is how the banking model or the model of the commercial bank works basically they will uh, take the money from you the consumer and they will loan out to the others who are in requirement of this money okay so how the bank or on what basis the bank will make money they will make money on the difference in the interest rate okay so the interest spread between what they are lending out and making money on and what they are paying to you is on what they will make money so this is how a commercial bank works so let us now move forward with insurance form so basically uh, let's just understand how they work so this is the insurance form this uh, will make money by obviously providing you with insurance okay so the insurance firm will provide you with insurance and for providing you with the insurance policy what these firms will do is they will charge you premium okay so this premium goes to the insurance firm okay and on this they will make out an income so insurance firm will charge you premium they will make income and they will invest this money in an investment portfolio so let me just give you example of this you must have heard of Berkshire Hathaway Warren Buffett's company this is how exactly it works they have a lot of different insurance policies of their own and then they make money on that and then they invest this money in their own portfolio so this is how the insurance firms work basically uh, keep this in mind that they will charge you premium and make income on that and maybe they will invest it in some other portfolio 
now what are the expenses for the insurance firms basically the expense is that they will have to pay you claims okay so uh, take an example of a person who has taken up an auto insurance okay automobile insurance and suppose that person gets into an accident so what the insurance firm will have to do is compensate that person for that so this is basically the expense for the insurance firm moving forward next we have the investment banks okay so uh, suppose this is an investment bank so investment bank advise different companies okay so they will advise companies so what are the different roles for which they will give the advice first of all they will give advice on mergers mergers and acquisition transaction or maybe underwriting an ipo uh, and these are not just the only things uh, they will do they will basically underwrite different debt offerings and raise capital for companies they also have the sales and trading side wherein they make money by taking trades from the clients and charging them a commission whenever they make a trade with a bank okay so insurance uh, sorry investment banks they have a lot of different functions to do so we are just not going to go into details of investment bank because we are going to concentrate on commercial banks but this is basically what the investment bank will do they will uh, look out into the transactions of mnas and ipos and debt offerings and what not so let us now move forward with wealth management okay so basically the wealth management firm what they do is they take money from hnis okay high net worth individuals or maybe it can also be an institution if it's an institutional wealth management so they take this money from this clients and uh, they manage their portfolio in return okay and basically for this they will charge fees and they make investment decision for their clients okay so this is how the wealth management firms will work they basically take the money from the uh, hnis and they will manage their portfolio and charge them fees okay moving forward we have the investment firms basically there are two main firms in this category we have the private equity firms and the hedge funds now what they will do is uh, they will raise capital okay and use this capital to buy companies okay so so they will raise capital use this capital to buy companies and uh, they will make an investment in this companies and at the end of some period they will get a return on this so this return they will keep a portion of this return to themselves and return another portion to whoever gave them money in the first place so similarly basically they are working uh, somewhat same with respect to insurance firm but the difference is that they don't have any insurance premium over here they basically raise their money solely to invest in other companies so this is how the different financial institutions work